Hello, dear scientists. We will still talk about unit to ourselves, the sense of touch. Now, our learning objectives, you will explore how we use our skin to touch and to explain different types of textures. You have learned about the sense of sight. Using our eyes, we can see. Now, you are going to learn about the sense of touch and you can feel things by using your hands and other parts of your body. Now, this is your head and these are the parts of the hand. As today, we will talk about the sense of touch. Skin is the body's largest organ. It is what humans use to feel things. Although most people associate a uh, touch with hands and fingers, we have sensory receptors on all areas of our skin. This means that we can feel things with our skin, such as textures and how hot or cold things are. And the skin has other important roles. It covers and protects everything inside the body and helps to keep our bodies at the right temperature. We mainly use our hands to touch and feel things. However, the skin all over your body can feel things too. What can you touch? Can you see these pictures? This is a cat. Now, I can touch a fluffy, soft cat. I can touch crunchy, cold snow. I can touch crumbling brown soil. Our sense of touch means we can tell what the texture of something is like. The texture is how something feels such as rough or smooth. Our sense of touch let us feel if something is hot or cold also. You draw around your hand on a sheet of paper. Look carefully and then label these parts of your hand. You will put this finger, the nail, the knuckle, wrist, and thumb. And after that, after you draw your hand, here are some texture words we will use to describe the texture of a particular object. For rough, this stone or rock is very rough. Smooth, anything you can think about that is smooth, the texture is, oh, your face is very smooth. Or your book or the paper is, is smooth, bumpy. And use more of these texture words like prickly. Fluffy, soft, lumpy, hard, jagged, crack, and a lot more. Now for your workbook page 24, let's look at your hand sizes. Do you think your hand is bigger or smaller than your partner's hand? Now how can you use these squares to find out if your hand is bigger or smaller than your partner's hand? You will draw around your hand here. And then you will count how many squares. Okay, after you draw your hand, count how many squares and then compare it with your partner's hand. And then complete these sentences. My hand is smaller or bigger than my partner's hand. And I know this because my hand is, remember you have to count the squares here after you draw your hand. And then compare my partner's hand is bigger or smaller and write the number here okay how many squares you will write what have you learned so let's challenge yourself is your elbow as good as your hand for feeling textures thank you so much for listening have a nice day